The first cabinet of Jan Peter Borkenende was in office in the Netherlands from the 22nd of July 2002 until the 16th of October of the same year. The term of 87 days was the shortest since the fifth cabinet of Hendrik Escolain. Formation Following the 15th of May 2002 elections, the division of the 150 seats in the House of Representatives was on 17 May Queen Beatrix appointed Piet Hein Donner, a CDA member of the Rod van Staters, informer, to investigate the possibilities for a new government. A coalition between CDA, LPF and VVD was established relatively quickly, despite some initial resistance by the VVD. By 4 July a detailed coalition agreement had been drawn up and the Queen appointed Jan Peter Borkenende, the Lidge Strecker for the CDA, to form a new cabinet. The cabinet was named on 16 July and was sworn in on of July. The first Borkenende cabinet comprised 14 ministers and 14 state secretaries, with each post allocated to one of the coalition parties. Each of the ministers headed a department, with the exception of one minister without a portfolio, to deal with foreigners' policy and integration, accommodated by the Ministry of Justice, Incidents and Scandals. The first Borkenende cabinet was very unstable from the beginning. Elections had been held in the very recent aftermath of the assassination of Pim Fortune, the leader of the newly established LPF. Emotions in the Netherlands had run very high. The LPF was catapulted into enormous winds, but was unprepared for cabinet participation. Only three of the 27 cabinet members had previous experience in government, leading to speculation that it wouldn't last long. As it turned out, personality conflicts and the general inexperience of LPF cabinet members led to the rapid implosion of the cabinet after a little more than two months. Resignation of Undersecretary Beale Hout The first scandal in the new government came only nine hours after it took office. Fellow Mina Beale Hout, the Stayage Secretress for Social Affairs and Work Opportunity and a member of the LPF, resigned after RTL4 reported that she had been a member of the militia of Surinamese military dictator de Irkutesi Bautis in 1982 and 1983. This was during the period when the militia had committed the political murders known as the December Murders. Bielhout, who was born in Suriname, had never denied being part of the militia, but claimed she'd left prior to the December murders. Power struggles within the LPF and the resignation of the cabinet in the months following the election. The LPF was beset by power struggles between various factions. A big incident was when Immigration and Integration Minister Hilbrand Navine declared to be in favour of the death penalty. The cabinet was officially opposed to the death penalty. Navine responded that he made his remark as leader of the LPF. The party in its turn declared that it was opposed to the death penalty. Navine was highly criticized when he declared that it was a personal remark, because it was normal that a minister in a coalition cabinet could make remarks as a party member outside his ministerial responsibility. In September and October Hermann Heinz broke speculated in public about leading a new party and resigning from the government. This led to tension between him and his supporter Stephen van Eyck and Bomhoff. VVD leader Zalm tried to convince the LPF ministers to replace both Bomhoff and Heinzbroek but his real aim was to use these resignations to call for new elections and to repair the huge losses of his VVD party in the election after the murder of Fortune. Disregarding Bomhoff's warnings, the other LPF ministers took the bait and told Bomhoff and Heinz broke to resign, which they did on October 16. Immediately, Zalm broke his commitment to the remaining LPF ministers to accept replacements for Bomhoff and Heinz broke and called for fresh elections. 
Meetings with the Queen did not take place until the week after the resignation, since she had travelled to Italy immediately after the funeral. On 21 October she accepted the resignation and new elections were called for the 22nd of January 2003. The cabinet remained in place as a demissionary cabinet, without Baumhoff and Heinsbroek, until the elections and formation of the second Borkenende cabinet. On 12 December 2002, Benk Cordels resigned as caretaker Minister of Defence after a commission of inquiry into building industry fraud accused him of giving false information to the lower house during the previous cabinet. After resigning he said he still denied the allegations. After the ensuing new elections, the LPF lost two-thirds of its seats in the House of Representatives. The party was never a significant force in Dutch politics again, and dissolved in 2008. Cabinet Actions Revoking a planned ban on mink farming initiated by the previous cabinet. Approval of an expansion of the European Union. Support for the United States in its plan to invade Iraq. Cuts to add Melkert's subsidized job scheme, the Melkert Bannon. Removal of price controls on certain popular medical interventions in an effort to reduce waiting lists. Reorganization of defense, including budget cuts and the termination of 4,800 jobs. Reduction of spending on public transport by 39 million euros. Cuts to the budgets of most government departments, counted by increased spending in health and some other areas. Ministers. State secretaries. Alternative title that can be used outside the Netherlands.